All right, guys, I'm back. It's just me, the beard, today. It is the tot's taking a nap right now. Um, I thought I'd show you guys what the tot and I are starting out with for gear. Um, a lot of my stuff is Amazon or Facebook Marketplace, so bear with me. It's cheap, but what are you gonna do? All right, let's start with the bag. 90 liter, because go big or go home. Um, 90 liter high Sierra bag. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. I think I spent 60 bucks on it, but I'm not sure. Outside admin pockets. Very outside pocket. Just some locking carabiners. Never know when you need a carabiner to lock things down with. Um, plus you can do all kinds of things with it. Going in a little deeper, I have a hygiene kit, deodorant, toothbrush, bug spray, cook kit, or not cook kit, but mess kit, fork, spoon, it's cheap. Cook kit, in here I have a little bushcraft grill, I have some seasonal, and I have some vegetable oil. Duct tape. Because duct tape rules the world. Believe it or not, duct tape can fix anything. A little sewing kit in here. Um, I have some needles, a variety pack of needles. Um, some pins, scissors, thread, all kinds of different thread colors here. Um, mostly for fixing gear. And that's all out in this outside pocket. Um, bottom of the bag, I'm not gonna pull it all out because it's a giant pain in the butt. But I have a poncho liner in here and I have a 10 by 10 sill nylon tarp. Um, this time of year, they're great for just tooling around camp, setting up a quick shelter, get out of the weather for the night. I would not want to live in that for very long. But it's what we have to start with. Up here in the brain. The brains of the operation. I have a rapid ridge line. Uh, see the uh, gray bearded green beret for his rapid ridge line video. I really did like that and it works great. I have a rain poncho. I have a rain poncho. It's camo because I use it for hunting too. And I have a puck, sharpening puck. I only use water on it. And I have a little fire kit. Um, in this fire kit, I have fat wood. I have a little pack of magnesium shavings. Um, ferro rod. I have three lighters in here because you never can have enough lighters. And two of them I've were used lighters when I made this two years ago. So we'll go with that. Oh, zippers. This pouch is a little small for it, but I wouldn't want anything much bigger. So I have a 10 liter water filter it's kind of like a platypus system but minus the clean bag um it's just a dirty bag and a filter with a hose and makes it really easy for getting water um as we go through some videos you guys will see me using more of this gear and i'll go through each one and show you how it works um i also have a little container for carrying water because, you know, it's flat. And I don't get to spend a lot of time in the woods, so I have to keep packing up and unpacking my gear. But having a flat water bottle is nice. Belt knife. I don't even know where I got the knife or what it is. 
It's a nice little, it says Guidesman on it. I think I got it in Menards. Um, I am left-handed, so it does hit on my left hip when I'm out in the woods. But I take it off put it back in the bag because I don't have a lot of knives. Uh, Attack Bivy, kind of this is my emergency oh crap bag. Oh crap, I'm wet. I need to get warm right now. This is not designed to be a shelter for me. I mean, you can. They advertise it as one. But I don't like it. If I need to get warm right now, it'll help. But other than that, I don't see a lot of use for it. A little multi-tool. Cheap. It's got everything I need in here. Saw. Screwdriver, which I have yet to modify. Screwdriver, which I have yet to modify. Blade. The other side. Files. I actually like this file. It does a decent job. Um, most files I've found I don't like in the cheap ones. They don't do a whole lot. Oh yeah, this one's got a lock in it. Cool. I forgot about that one. Uh, can opener I've yet to modify or sharpen. Another screwdriver and an awl. And I'm going to modify the awl. I know how I'm going to do that one. I'm going to put a hole in the tip. So that I can punch thread through things. So I can hopefully drop the needles. Or it gives me another heavier needle to repair things with. So, multi-tool. And that's it for the brains. Inside. We have waterproofing up the yin-yang in his bag, which is nice. Next. Oh yes, the infamous blue bag. And this blue bag has, let me show you. Inside here it has a pair of socks. Pair of wool socks, because change your socks. Change your socks. Stay warm. It has an Olight flashlight. This is probably one of the most expensive pieces of gear I have. Don't tell my wife. Um, It's got the Olight flashlight in it. I need to find a charger for it. I don't have one right now. Um, The little cool magnet flat chargers. Yeah, I need one of those. Um, and I keep it in this dry bag because electronics and water don't get along. So I keep it back in its bag. And in here I also have an acre power bank. I went with the big one. It's still fully charged. And that's for usually charging up my phone. Um, I did ask Santa for a uh, backpacker solar charger for the summer. As you can tell right now, we don't have a lot of sunlight that would hit a solar charger. So, we try. But that stays in the blue dry bag. In here, I also have cutting tool. I have my Mora Kniive. Um, it's a nice knife. It stays sharp. Um, I know they get a lot of criticism for being composite and whatnot and being cheap, but I have beat the tar out of this thing. As you can see, it is discolored. It is got some rust on it. And it's dirty. I beat the car out of it. And it's still ticking. It takes an edge right off the stone real quick. Extra hoodie, because you know, it gets cold. Saw. Now I put it in this case because I had it snagging on other things in a different bag. And I just come to like the case. As you can tell, I have beat the tar out of this thing too. 
It's not a Silky, it's a Fiskars, but you know, we all can't have name brand stuff. Some of us gotta do it with generic. Someday, I'll have good stuff. Oh yeah, I have a Pathfinder 64 ounce pot. This is the stainless one. And I in my pot, I have rice and a little grill top. Because setting this on a fire before it's coals leads to problems. At least with this, it'll level it out a little bit and I can cook straight on this. I can cook in the pot. Or I have my other cook set. The other thing you can do with this little bush pot is you can use it as an oven. And uh, I'll show you that sometime when I make biscuits out here in the woods. Upcoming. A little handkerchief. This one's red for Oh my God, the world's on fire. I need to get out of here right now. There's, there you are, you can help me. Um, it also has first aid stuff on it, which is kind of nice for that little reminder in your back of your head of, oh God, how do I fix that? Because I'm that guy that's always out there trying to fix everything. Um, and yeah, I know I can't fix everything, but I can try. Um... Let's see what else. Oh, my contractor trash bags. One thing I've done in camping on my own before the tot is I made beds out of these. You stuff them full of this leaf litter that you got on the ground out here. And you try and keep the sticks out of it because, well, sticks are lumpy. And you, when you fill them up with leaves and pine boughs and grass, it gets real comfy and it gives you a good layer between you and the ground. Keep you a little warmer in the fall and in the spring. In the summer, you can sleep on the ground. Not in the winter. Paracord. Butt loads and butt loads of paracord because you can never have too many. Like I said, butt loads of paracord. Okay. Oh, and that's the bottom of there. Oh, I do have one more thing in here. I have a camelback. It's usually full of water. Being full of water. I don't have to go find it right away. And the places I usually go, the water's not easily cleaned. So for me to fill this would take all day. So I would only let it run about half before I'd start filling it back up again. Um, this one was fairly cheap, it was an Amazon find. Um, so, that's what's in the bag. That's the gear we have. Um, I'll try and get pictures of each item and post them, but no promises. Because you know, I'm new at this. This is what, video two? You guys will see, so. From the beard deal, have a good one.